Sorry about that, everyone. I came back just in time to catch the birth of um, another baby, another kitten. Um, Mama is cleaning this one here. And I'm going to scoot in, see if I actually see a placenta here. Yep, okay. Um, this baby is moving, as you can see, they come out and they're pretty much moving right away. Um, Unfortunately, it's sad. Baby number three did not make it. We did what we could. Um, we did all the rubbing and, um, here, Mama. Don't, don't. Mama. Come here. Keep cleaning. Keep cleaning the babies. Keep cleaning the baby. Um. Okay. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, baby number three did not make it. We did what we could. We did the towel rubbing. We did the tapping. We did uh, cleared the nose, everything, um, have it on a warm snuggle safe while doing all this, trying to get it warm and all that. But, um, baby number three. So we have, we have three babies here. Um, two, the two that you see over here on the left and then this one here that just came out and um mama you need to keep cleaning it there we go Okay, so um, we have baby three here. Mom is taking care of a third one. That baby number two is a loud one here. Um, baby number one looks like it's dozed off. Her babies are really tiny, um, <laughs> considering how big she is. So it does make me wonder whether she's just gonna have a lot of little tiny ones versus big ones. Um, yeah, three is breathing, three, mama is cleaning. He is breathing and he is moving. Um, Baby number two, I knew right away when it came out that it was uh, probably stillborn because it didn't, I mean, even after, um, even after mama was cleaning it, it just did not move at all. And no matter what we did, we couldn't get it to breathe. Um, Baby number two is all over the place, and baby number two does have white or light colored fur. And baby number one is over here traveling around. Baby number three, Mama, Mama, are you tired? You can see baby number three rooting around trying to find a nipple. Baby number two is huge and already knocking, <laughs> knocking him off. So I'm gonna have to perhaps maybe help him. Baby number one is all over the place here. Baby number three is resting on baby number two. I'm gonna call him baby three. Um, A lot of times when, if it's a big litter, it's not, it's not uncommon to have 
one or maybe more not make it or just be born stillborn. Um, definitely is, is not uncommon for that to happen. It's definitely sad when it happens, but, um, yeah, it, it was sad. I was sad. I, I tried. Um, it just came out limp and stayed limp and it was, uh, not warm. Look at this little baby. This little tiny one, Mama. You didn't really finish cleaning it. But it looks like she's gonna have another. She's facing the other way, so it's a little bit hard for me to see what's going on. Looks like the contraction stopped. <sighs> good job, Helena. Doing good job, Mama. Doing a good job. Mama is a dilute tortie. So yeah, a very light tortoise shell. going on here? Baby number two is on top of baby number three. I mean, that works. It'll keep baby number three warm since mama didn't spend that much time on him. It's okay, mama. I know you, you have a lot going on here. I'm not blaming you. Oh. Here we go. Let's see, Not, nothing's happening yet, just some contractions. Good job, Mama, good job. No, they're all crowded in the same spot. So tiny, tiny little ones. They're all crowded in the same spot, but you know how the nipples aren't like all in one spot. So nobody, I mean, they need, they'll, they'll learn eventually how to find the nipples and where to find the nipples. Um, and it's actually kind of funny, kittens will end up finding their favorite nipples and then they'll fight each other over the nipple. There she goes. Now she's going to clean it a little bit. Good job, Mama. Good job. Mom is doing a good job cleaning that baby. You're cleaning that baby. <laughs> oh, look at this. Look at this little one. It's hard to tell when they're wet exactly what color they are, but they, <laughs> they definitely have... Uh, Look like different shades of orange right now.
The black one did not make it. The black one was born stillborn. It basically had no life in it when it came out. Um, we tried to revive it, doing the best we could. Um, you know, sometimes mama cats just know instinctively. She did a couple licks of the black one and then she basically just ignored it. Um, so I took over. I got off the live and I took over and got it on a heating pad, um, put it in a towel, you know, rubbed it, did all the things, but it was pretty much, it was not viable. It was not moving. It, it, I mean, you know what I mean? Like they come out sometimes and they're not moving. And then after some stimulation from mom, they do start moving. But this one just had like, was just, was just not going to make it had not made it but she has three healthy ones here so far and she's been having contractions looks like she's dozing right now um this little one i know he's he's still wet but he looks darker i'm saying he only because only because Orange ones tend to be boys, but we'll see. We'll find out later. Oh, he's sucking on Mama's leg. One baby was born stillborn. Yes. Good job, Mama. Good job. You're doing great. You're doing great, Mama. I'm gonna pop another one out, right? We're gonna have another one. So who would have thought that your Friday night would be spent watching a cat giving birth? Yeah, this one here is not <laughs> not gonna find a nipple there. She definitely, she has eight nipples. Um, you know, I don't know, like, obviously, there's two here. There's one right there that nobody has. Um, this one is just kind of hanging out. Mama's going to keep it warm, which is good. It's always good. Good job, Mama. Good job. <laughs> I love how they just all scream the minute she moves. Yep. Spay and neuter programs definitely are very, very super important. Unfortunately, last year with COVID and the pandemic, a lot of the organizations and rescue groups and people who would go out and do trap, neuter, and release, they weren't able to do their jobs because they had nowhere to take the animals to get them spayed or neutered because a lot of the clinics were shut down. So because of that, there were a lot of uh, strays out there that did not get spayed and neutered and that reproduced and had lots of kittens. And obviously, you know, kittens were born and probably lost and they, um, you know, had a rough life to start out there. Um, so, yeah, so spay and neutering programs definitely work now that the clinics are all open, you know, these people can go back out and do it and they 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 do hard work you know they go out to communities and they look for these strays um solely to trap get them spayed or neutered and then um release them back to their community or if they're you know friendly obviously they try to find them a home yeah i was wondering those of you with cats and if you if they hear the squeals if they're um 
if they're trying to figure out what the noises are or where they're coming from. We think Helena is maybe two, but, you know, again, not sure. But, but yeah, two, I think on her paperwork it says two. Little ones, you guys are so tiny. Mama is so big and the nipples are really far apart.